One year after the NSAS protest, which began in Ugeli Delta State, spread nationwide and led to the loss of lives and property destroyed. The seven-man committee inaugurated by the state governor, Dr. Fayon Koa, is to receive and consider the report of the judicial panel of inquiry that was constituted to look into complaints of police brutality and related extrajudicial killings in the state. Governor Koa, who said the panel, which was inaugurated in October 2020, received 86 petitions for which it conducted public hearings in Asaban worry with full legal representation for all parties. The governor said the panic which was not able to make recommendations on the petitions as some of the petitions are currently pending in various courts, hence making pronouncement will be sub -judice. Governor Koa said the state government is working with the office of the vice president and the National Economic Council to ensure that other recommendations of the judicial panel which border on operational modalities of the Nigeria police are implemented appropriately and time Justly. Governor Koa said have considered the panel's recommendations as accepted to pay the incidental claims recommended for the victims, amounting to the sum of 102,450,000 naira to the victims. Very much mindful of the fact that we cannot pay for lives lost, that we have agreed as a state executive council and the need to show some respect and to also find ways of assuaging the lives of those who have, been, who have lost loved ones and some others who had to go to visit the hospital to take care of themselves following actions of brutality by the national police. That is the Commission on for Youth Development, Comrade Fayeng Wenga, who responded on behalf of the committee, promised to work in line with mandates given them. ...that will do what we expected to do diligently, effectively, and timely. Because we understand that, owing to the fact that Delta State has been, has been a very peaceful state. Members of the committee include Governor Fayeng Kowa's chairman, Attorney General Commissioner for Justice, Mr. Isaiah Bozimo, Comrade Ifoye Gwenga, Commissioner for Youth Development, Solicitor General, Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Justice, Mr. Mamuzo Eribe, and the State Commissioner of Police Representative. Others are representative of the youth, Mr. Harrison Gwanushi, representative of civil society's organizations, Comrade Israel Dwell, representative of Nigeria Bar Association, Dr. Jonathan Kinisi, representative of National Human Rights Commission, Mr. Afions Agu, and Permanent Secretary, Directorate of Political and Security Matters, Mr. Theophilos Agui, who will serve as Secretary. From Asaba, Austin Azu, reporting.